You see that fellow over there? That's Lee Hale. <laughs> the one with the teeth. <laughs> Sober up and come on over, Lee. He's wild about me. It's not easy to love a star. <laughs> It's really Norman Maine. <laughs> I'm going to use him for my lip flirt. Watch him melt. <laughs> you were a lot different at the office party. Excuse me, I have to call the parish and tell them I'll be back in an hour. The phone oh, is right you. out the door, Father. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Boy, could I use a stiff martini? Now, huh? cool it. You know that the Father doesn't drink. Is the show starting? Uh, about 30 seconds. Hey, great. When does the train seal come on? Train seal? There's no train seal. We changed our policy. It's a strip joint now. <laughs> it's a... Let him stay dressed. I'd rather see the shameless hussy. Oh, oh, we cannot let him see that sort of thing. You're right. We better head him off. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll tell him that the seal was sick from eating swordfish. Good, good, good. <laughs> and clear everything out right through here. Oh, uh, hey, uh, Governor, what's going on here? Well, what's this? Well, we're putting a new freeway right through here. Nothing ever goes on here anyway. <laughs> but you're the governor. What are you doing with uh, working with the highway crew like that? What are you doing? I like to think of myself as a middle-of-the-road Republican. <laughs> Getting interested in politics lately, do you think there might be some kind of job in the state government that would be suitable for a man of my qualifications? Oh, Dean, I'm sorry. We already have a director of the Alcoholic Beverage Control. <laughs> Governor, I can tell that you are married, and you know I'm married too. But nobody knows that you know me And nobody knows that I know you So if you care to, we'll have luncheon Every day here just the same In just a moment, we will undergo the miniaturization process. Then the president will swallow us, and we will begin our tour. Well, how do we know the president will swallow us? If he swallows what the Pentagon tells him, he'll swallow anything. <laughs> Say, doctor, do you make a practice of giving your patients a uh, cardiograph? No, certainly not. When my patient leaves the office, he gets a lollipop, and that's it. <laughs> I know you're busy, but could you take a look at me? I feel just awful. This is hardly the time, but sit down, sit down. Here, uh, let, let me check your reflexes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's he howling 
about? Don't you don't you do that with your patients? Yeah, but I use a rubber hammer. Oh. <laughs> Listen, let's have a look in his ears. Can you give me a hand here, doctor? Okay. Let's take it. Oh, there's a definite stoppage, doctor. I can't see you at all. Somebody want to get this kid a bucket of cold water? <laughs> Wash up. <laughs> They're still casting the Merry Widow. <laughs> Try to get over. This is Ian Wondergaard, your BBC Rolling Reporter. The rash of cat burglaries by the inf infamous Harry Nine Lives continues. Last night alone, 38 cats and a pussy willow bush were stolen. Let's find out how the citizens of London are reacting to this crime wave. You, sir. You, sir. What do you think about cats disappearing? Personally, I think Mrs. Cats is better off without them. Well, here uh, with me now is the father of... Harry Nine Lives. Tell me, Mr. Nine Lives, was there anything in your son's childhood to suggest that he would grow up to be a notorious cat burglar? No, he was just a normal boy from a normal family. Can't understand it. And you can't blame for little me, I'm sure. But I just can't. <laughs> if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, don't touch me! 